Hey guys, so Pamela Smart has come out and she is seeking a meeting with the governor. Um, if you guys don't remember who Pamela Smart is, she was 22 when her husband was killed. She is convicted of being an accomplice to first degree murder and sentenced to life in prison without the chance of parole. Her 1991 trial was one of the first to be in the country to allow TV cameras in the courtroom and it gathered attention across the world so i'm going to play her statement to the governor and you can leave comments below um of your thoughts to her statement my name is pamela smart I've been incarcerated since 1990. I was convicted of being an accomplice to murder and I'm serving a life sentence without any possibility for parole. I've been incarcerated in New York State for nearly 32 years and I was in previously in New Hampshire for two and a half years. I think at, um, I was incarcerated about at least eight or nine years at Bedford Hills. So probably 10 years into my incarceration before I got into Eve's group, um, Eve Ensler's writing group. And in that group was where I began, you know, to dig deeper and into my own responsibility. I always thought that I was going to a deep place as we all did in the group. And she would pressure us and encourage us to go beyond into spaces that we, we didn't want to be in. For me, that was really hard because going into those places, um, in those spaces is where I found myself responsible for something I desperately didn't want to be responsible for. Um, my husband's murder, I had to acknowledge for the first time for in my own you know, mind and my own heart how responsible I was because I had deflected blame all the time. Um, I think almost as if it was a coping mechanism because the truth of being so responsible was, was very difficult for me because I'm not a person that went through life hurting other people. And it was a space that was very uncomfortable for me and something that was um, new. You know, now that I am older and able to look back on things, I can see um, so many errors that I made and I can see how skewed my judgment was and how immature I was looking backwards. You know, I am such a, a different person than I was. I'm more thoughtful before, you know, I think things through before I make decisions and less impulsive and just more responsible and mature than I was back then. I mean, it's 34 years is a very long time. And during that time, I've done a lot of work on myself and a lot of spiritual work and just had a, a big growth in who I am and how I deal with things and people. I'm respectfully asking for the opportunity to come before you, the New Hampshire Executive Council and have an honest conversation with you about my incarceration, my acceptance of responsibility, and any concerns you might have, any questions. Um, if I could come in person or via video conference so that we could share an honest conversation, um, I would be extremely grateful for that. Bryn Spacer was convicted of involuntary manslaughter. The violence captured national headlines.
So please let me know what you think of this. Um, her speaking out to the governor. Um, your thoughts, please leave them in the comments below. Hit that like button as always and share this out. Remember, like, 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 comment below because I really, really want to know what your thoughts are on what she is saying to the governor and if you think that she should get a second chance. Um, from all these years of being incarcerated, she's been there for a pretty long time now. Um, she's been in there since 1991. So not sure if you think she is rehabilitated or if she needs to stay in there for the rest of her life. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day. Bye everybody.